um, let's go to uh, Psalms uh, 107. It says, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Let the redeem of the Lord tell their story. Those he redeemed from the hand of the foe, those he gathered from the lands, from east and west, from north and south. Some wander in the desert, wastelands, finding no way to a city where they know they were, where they couldn't settle. Now it says, uh, it was mentioned on, on, on John 15, we have to remain in the Lord. It's, it's not just the fact that, uh, yes, we uh, profess the Lord as our Savior and and we believe that he uh, died and, and uh, resurrected and that the Holy Spirit is in us once we uh, profess the Lord as our Savior. And then we receive the Holy Spirit but then we have to remain in the Lord. And it's a daily practice. It's, it's, um, that's as much as I can say. Psalms 107, verse 1 reminds me of uh, Psalms 136. It automatically reminded me of a uh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, his love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of God, God's, his love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of Lords, his love endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, his love endures forever. And, and it just keeps going on about his love enduring forever. Amen. And that we should give thanks to him. Amen. Because he, it's talking about those who, wondered that you know, let the redeemed of the Lord tell their story that we were hungry that we were seeking satisfaction that we were just in a desert wasteland with no food no seeking material things but God redeemed us from, from that and now we have satisfaction in him and we got to remember to give thanks because his love endures forever It says, do you know, on 28, 40, 20, uh, Isaiah 40, 28, do you not know, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary, and increases the power of the weak. Even youth grow, you youths grow tired in, in worry, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So it's uh, some sort of a long along the uh, the lines of uh, just uh, praising the Lord, trusting the Lord, that in adversity we will grow strong. So, and I praise the Lord for it. Yeah, it's super encouraging. You know, I think Psalms, you know, 7, 1, 107, you know, it, it just reminds me that that's what kind of God we have. You know, he's the same Mm -hmm. yesterday, yesterday today and today, forever, forever you know so if we cry out to him he'll hear our cries if we cry out to him for our needs you know that that are for our, for the good he will respond to us you know he will take care of us he says i will supply all your needs hmm. with it you know we trust in him we be we believe that we trust in him that he will but it, it's it's to those that that are obedient to him and that are falling after him. It's just not those that just, because they're trying to put him into their circumstances, mm. you know, it, he, that doesn't work. Mm. He wants us to be obedient. He wants us to follow him. He wants us to trust in him, believe in him. 
And when we cry out to him, he's there listening to us. Amen. Yeah. I like the, um, the last, the last sentence of verse 28. I, I like it all. Um, but the last sentence of verse 28 is really good. I'm going to read the four translations of it. So when we ask sometimes, um, why does this happen? Why does that happen? Um, here's a, here's a great one. Why does God choose that, that some people are going to come to know him and some are not? So here's the answer. Here's the answer. There was no searching of his understanding. That's the King James, the new King James, his understanding is unsearchable. The NIV, his understanding, no one can fathom the NLT. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. I need to remind myself of that Mm. when I, when I try to figure everything out, I'm not, I'm not going to figure everything out. I need to, that's why I need to have faith. Amen.